Well, would you look at that? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Early Christmas? Nah, fuck that. I'm a fall fan. I like the Hollow's Eve and the store I work at getting less busy as kids go back to school and people stop buying so many chicken wings. Hey, what the fuck is a football, by the way? Welcome back, one and all, to another edition of Yours Truly, Godzi, that's me, talking about shows that haven't aired yet, like a week late. Time to copy and paste the rules from last season's script. I read the entries and watched the PVs for all of the fall 2023 anime listed on any chart and put them into four categories. Watching, maybe watching, not watching, and will eventually watch. As well, I have what's called a silence token, which lets me choose one show per season to avoid talking about, and said reason gets explained at the end of the video. So yeah, let's begin. The Rising of the Shield Hero, third season. I think it's fair to say that the rising of the shield hero fell off. Insert that weird metal riff and a guy screaming, yeah. Oops, sorry, we don't have the budget for that in this video. My editor doesn't get paid enough for this shit. My boss doesn't pay me enough for this shit. Do you get the joke yet? I don't care, moving on. Spy Family, second season. Wow, they're making an adaptation of Spy Anya already? That game isn't even out yet. Anyways, Goblin Slayer, second season. Oh, Epstein alert, Epstein alert! Sound the alarms! The Eminence in Shadow, second season. This got a second season? That's crazy! Uh, what is this show? What's it about? I don't know. But the title does make sense, it sure is in Shadow. I don't know what an Eminence is, though. Isn't that a band? Free Aaron, Beyond Journey's End. Okay, now that we finally have a show that isn't a sequel where I either don't have anything to say or can only say yes please in so many ways, God is this concept something? You know how when you play RPGs, oftentimes there will be a character in it who's like a thousand? Your Alirs, Leelas, and Sidons? I, I don't know. Characters that are in your main party that will most likely live long after the other protagonists die, and how games rarely mention that? Well, what if they did mention it? What if they did mention what they're gonna do when the rest of their party dies? That's this show. Pretty cool, I guess. Dr. Stone New World Part 2. Oh, fuck, another sequel. Uh... I like rocks? The Apothecary Diaries. Ah, uh, medical mysteries. Something even Van Dyne can't wrap his head around. Agatha Christie shudders at the thought of it. Okay, I need to Google something. Asterisk typing noises, asterisk. Oh, right, budget. Uh, okay, she died of natural causes. Good, I'm not accidentally being insensitive. Anyways, this show looks okay. Tokyo Revengers, third season. Yeah, queerly, as evidenced by the eventually rating, I didn't watch season two. So, sadly, I don't have any interesting way to make fun of Nazi middle scores. I mean, maybe if I stretched it, I could? How about that Sneeko guy? Whatever. The Faraway Paladin second season. Far away is right. I had to reach into the deepest confines of my brain in order to remember this show even existed. And I left my brain somewhere in my apartment too, so I had to deliriously find that first. It was in my fridge. And you know what I remembered about this show? I said that the first season didn't look interesting either. To quote, I'd say this is anime's anime, but bro, this is just some random show. Undead Unlock. Speaking of anime's anime, I mean, what do you want me to say? It looks fun. I like fun things. Match made in heaven, really. Girlfriend, Girlfriend, second season. Seeing this show on the list triggered my fight or flight response, and I choose to fight. Like I said last season, maybe, I always watch the trash. Trashy? <laughs> the trashy. I always watch the trashy, etchy harem and I've been being starved for a while. Though I more often compare myself to a cat, I do dabble in comparisons to trash goblin creatures like raccoons and possums. Still cute, just eats garbage. And this is a full course meal, fine dining. Step aside, Applebee's, we fancy like dumpster juice in the moonlight. Our dating story, the experienced you and the inexperienced me. Hey look, it's Walmart Dress Up Darling, which is already Walmart Nisekoi, which is already Walmart Love Hina. 
The Sundare to Gyaru pipeline for harem anime sure is a thing that exists. This title sounded interesting at first, because juxtaposed with the girl being more front and center than the guy, I figured she was the inexperienced me. Then I saw the generic ass dude design and knew I was wrong. Oh well, side meal for me and my fellow trash eaters. The 100 girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. Oh god, uh, never mind, I think there's too much trash to eat here. Uh, but to set the trash bit aside, I knew this show existed. It's hard to make a show with a name like this and not get yourself out there for people to make fun of it on Twitter. But then I read the synopsis, and what on God's green earth is this shit? At one point it says, and I quote, Unless he returns their feelings each and every time, they'll die in horrible accidents. Excuse me? This goes beyond making a side girl have a potentially fatal slowed heartbeat. This is borderline psychological warfare. I already planned on checking this out just for the trash factor, but oh my god, this is legendarily crazy ass writing. Ron Komonohashi, Deranged Detective. <laughs> oh, the Umineko fan who used to like Dong and Rompa likes murder mysteries? Shocking, really. The Kingdoms of Ruin. Man, this is just everything I do not care about in a story being put forward as the crux of it. I'm not incapable of enjoying sci-fi, I've done it before, but this looks like the cure for insomnia. I'm in love with the villainous. It's genuinely shocking how oversaturated this villainous Otome game isekai genre is getting already, but if you make it gay, I'll still check it out, no worries there. The Saint's magic power is omnipotent season 2. I would use my silence token here, but I feel like that's a cheap cop-out, considering I have no clue what this shit is. Deadmount Death Play Part 2. How do motherfuckers get away this much with calling completely separated cores of a show parts instead of seasons? A season is a season is a season. Sometimes shows call individual cores of a continuous run seasons, because I guess words don't mean anything anymore. Guess that's why Matt Walsh hates everything, because nothing is consistent, and that's how reality works. Wah, wah, wah. There's your one political joke for the video. Moving on. Ragna Crimson. Man, this is just... Everything I do not care about in a story being put forward as the crux of it. I'm not incapable of enjoying fantasy. I've done it before. But this looks like the cure for insomnia. Like I've said before, you can get a lot of utility out of quoting yourself. The vexations of a shut-in vampire princess. Yeah, this looks plain, but I don't know, I just vibe with it. What can I say? My video, my rules, my brain, my rules, my reasons, my rules. LMAO, LMAO, LMAO. A good writer is allowed to break conventions of writing, and a good writer I am. And here I start a sentence with and. And now we move on. The Demon Sword Master of Excalibur School. Do I need to repeat the title, or have I made my point already? Shangri-La Frontier. Hey look, it's Walmart Game Isekai, which is already Walmart Game Isekai, which is already Walmart Game Isekai, which is already Walmart SAO, which is already Walmart. Like I've said before, you can get a lot of utility out of quoting yourself. MF Ghost. Got nothing to say here, I just like the idea of naming your show Motherfucker Ghost. A returner's magic should be special. Yes, it should, but sadly, it clearly isn't here. I won't be returning. Is that a good joke? Is that too cheesy? The Ancient Magus' Bride, Second Season, Part 2. How do motherfuckers get away this much with calling completely separated cores of a show parts instead of seasons? A season is a season is a, like I've said before, you can get a lot of utility out of quoting yourself. Berserk of Gluttony. The Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse. They're still making this shit? For who? People who like the Duke of Death? Yeah, you're right, that's a slight against someone. Please pray for him. He has chronic stupid in addition to bad taste syndrome. Stardust Telepath. Usually I'm complete cute girls doing cute things slash slice of life trash, but I don't know. I barely have any thoughts on this show, so I might not watch this one. I don't know. A girl and her guard dog. Okay, so for my audio only viewers, the guard dog is a whole ass man. Just so you know what kind of show this is. Uh, the main girl is also 15, by the way. 
Fooly Cooly Grunge. I may not care for sci-fi, but apparently Folly Collie is good, so like, sure, I don't know. Is it funny to mispronounce things still? I don't know. Shy. <laughs> Same. This looks like an edge watch for any girls who grew up listening to Avril Lavigne. Oh, wait, uh, Nicki Minaj. None. I can't be making fun of myself here. Hey, look, it's the emergency alert. Am I gonna turn into a zombie? Woo. Oh my god. I thought they were supposed to go, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Thank you, my phone. I guess I did not turn into a zombie. In fact, I feel smarter. Maybe it was the opposite of what the conspiracy theorist said. Maybe I'm just, ooh, I'm so big brain now. I'm so smart. Ooh, I feel so powerful. I feel like I can kill God. I feel like I can, I can take over the government. Oh my god, the conspiracy theorists were so wrong. Eons and eons of knowledge are rushing into my brain right now. Holy shit, I now have every star in the known universe memorized. Uh, starting with Ursidae Majoris 47, uh, The Bag in Space. Some of them are unnamed, so I'm just naming them myself. Uh, <laughs> okay, back onto the script. That was, that was funny. Uh, Tear Moon Empire. It's one of those reliving a part of your life shows, but cranking the dial toward comedy and away from Tokyo Revengers. Good! I prefer not seeing Nazi middle scores in my shows, even if I think that show is pretty generally good when you take out the Nazi imagery, which they did. I digress. Under Ninja. See, it's called Under Ninja because the show is below average. Like and subscribe! I'm giving the disgraced noble lady I rescued a crash course in naughtiness. I'll spoil her with delicacies and style to make her the happiest woman in the world. Okay, look. I would have used my silence token on this, but I already... Wait, I, I have a second one from last time, don't I? Where'd I put it? No, whatever. This title just kept going and going and going, and so will this paragraph until it gets annoying and draining. If you already think I'm annoying, then please know I'm not considering your opinion here. I have no idea what else to put here. What if I reiterate my entire restaurant tier list? Or just some anecdotes? Uh, Wendy's Queers BK, which Queers McDonald's. You're welcome. Okay, next entry then. Overtake. Hey, they made an anime for middle-aged dads who have only ever cried once in their lives when Dale Earnhardt died. Their dad's generation has a second one in Ronald Reagan. My daughter left the nest and returned an S-rank adventurer. So, she returned? She moved out, became OP, and just moved back in? Sure. This looks potentially maybe okay, I guess. Heat the pig liver, the story of a man turned into a pig. Dear Christ, take the internet away from horny dudes. This is genuinely fetish content, by the way. I'm, I'm not even kidding. The girl recognizes the pig's consciousness, but still wants to eat him. I am floored. Uma Musume Pretty Derby third season. Uma Musume, like I said in the past, is shockingly good. I'm not even kidding. I'm down for more, I just hope they don't push the story forward by injuring the characters over and over and over again. Season 2 was certainly something, Christ. Parent-child situation of the Bumpy Witch. Ah, uh, well, this is an anime, yep, anyways. Paradox Live, the animation. Fuck idol anime, all my homies hate idol anime. Kami Arabi, God App. Peak Edgewatch material. Peak edge watch material. Everything about this stinks hardcore, but I don't care. Peak edge watch material. The Idol Master Million Live. Fuck idol anime. All my homies hate idol anime, though some of the designs are good, so I'll give credit where it's due. Still don't care though. Our, our, our. Yeah, that's how that word is pronounced. Our Rainy Protocol. Our. Am I overthinking my own native language? Our rainy protocol. Our? Our? How do I pronounce this? <laughs> Maybe I am turning into a zombie. Ugh, I don't know how to pronounce a three-letter word that I've known since I was fucking three. <laughs> Our rainy protocol. Giving an esports drama this dramatic of a name is wild. 
A playthrough of a certain dude's VR MMO life. Huh. Man, I really should have kept that second token after all, huh? I shall survive using potions. Isekai has to be on the decline, right? It's gotta, right? New story of a family. As the kids say, Honk, me, 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 me. Firefighter Daigo, rescuer in orange. The thin red line movement in shambles as YouTuber Godzi says they won't watch the firefighter anime. Real talk, why is there a thin red line movement at all? There's like no pushback against firefighters. I can wrap my head around the blue and green ones, but fucking red? I'd say it's a persecution complex, but that'd be the pot calling the kettle black. Or I guess the redhead calling the red line red. Sure. Migi and Dolly. I would legitimately need to see early reviews to know if this is worth watching. I cannot get a read on it one way or another. I know that's a very generic way to talk about a show in this, like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I need to see early reviews, and I used to do that all the time, but I haven't for a while, so I think I deserve this. Hypnosis Mike, Division Rap Battle, Rhyme Anima Plus. The Return of the King. Peak comedy anime is back on the menu, y'all. It's actually, like, not peak, but it, I think it's funny. My new boss is Goofy. Unless you mean oh yuck, Goofy, we won't be watching. 16-bit sensation, another layer. I would say another reliving your life shell, but no, it's reliving the past, or I guess just living the past. It's going to the past with future knowledge, but it's about game design. I mean, I like the character design, so like maybe, ugh. Captain Tsubasa, second season, junior youth arc. Soccer, football, British, sports. Power of Hope, Grown Up Precure 23. Sneaking a kid's anime into a grown up's very mature video talking about cartoons Japan? The Gall. Dog Signal. There's no PV, so it probably sucks. B Project, third season. Fuck idol anime. All my homies hate idol anime. Kawagoe Boys Sing. Fuck idol anime. All my homies hate idol anime. Beyblade X. Fuck idol anime. All my homies hate idol. <laughs> Kizuna no Aliel's second season. Fuck idol anime. All my homies hate idol anime. <laughs> well, here we are. Recap time. This season looks. decent. A lot of trash on the menu, though, which ironically makes me feel more excited for the season than any of the prior ones this year. Love that shit when I get around to it after finishing my uh, top 10 anime of 2022 video. It's only a little late, right? Right? This season's silence token was used on Berserk of Gluttony because I didn't care. I will be watching Spy Family second season. Freer- Freer- Now I'm confused on how to pronounce that. Freerin Beyond Journey's End, Dr. Stone New World Part 2, Undead Unluck, Girlfriend Girlfriend Second Season, Our Dating Story, The Inexper- Fuck! Our Dating Story, The Experienced You, and The Inexperienced Me, The 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You, Ron Kamonohashi, Deranged Detective, I'm In Love With The Villainous, The Vexations of a Shut-In Vampire Princess, Uma Musume Pretty Derby Third Season, Kami Arabi God App, and Hypnosis Mike Division Rap Battle Rhyme Anima Plus. I might be watching The Apothecary Diaries, Stardust Telepath, Shy, Tear Moon Empire, My Daughter Left the Nest and Returned an S Rank Adventurer, Parent Child Situation of the Bumpy Witch, Our Rainy Protocol, Our Our Fuck, Migi and Dolly, and 16 Bit Sensation Another Layer. Lastly, I will eventually watch Tokyo Revengers 3rd Season, Dead Mount Death Play Part 2, The Ancient Magus' Bride 2nd Season Part 2, and Folly Holly Grunge. That's funny, right? Again? So, yeah. Outro. Uh, follow me on Twitter for however long that platform stays usable at all. After its death, I'll be moving to my Blue Sky account if you want to follow that ahead of time, assuming you even have one. It is invite only right now after all. Like and subscribe, otherwise, toodles, see you next video.